Well, Jason Stackhouse is back at it again, folks. <laughs> no, seriously, the actor who plays Jason Ryan has a new film, and it's time to talk about it. So let's jump into my review of his film, Expired. What's going on folks and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're reviewing the new film Expire which is coming on demand and some select theaters March 18th. Yeah I joked about Jason Stackhouse we all know from True Blood which is one of my favorite characters from one of my favorite series and you know the fact that he was in something I, I totally had to check it out you know he's been really good. Um, in, in that role and you know he's taken some other things obviously since then and they've some of them been interesting some of them's been kind of mad but you know either way he's always going to get a look for me I I've, I've been a fan for a while uh, but yeah he's in this new film expire he plays his character Jack he's also alongside of Hugo weaving uh, from the Matrix series as well too so you know you got two notable names uh, in this uh, but I will say a couple of things now the film itself was kind of boring to me but man, when you watch the trailer, it looks super interesting, super intriguing. It just tells you the importance of what a score can do. Like a score and good editing can really make anything look great. So obviously when that doesn't exist, then it's kind of like, but there's one thing consistent that in this futuristic uh, time that this is all taking place, um, it is very much visually beautiful. Uh, you know, the cyberpunk feel and whatnot, it's, it's very visually pleasing. That, that's for sure. And the cinematography with it and everything. I love, I'm a sucker for neon shots, especially low light neon shots. And they just execute on all of that without a doubt. But Ryan's character, Jack, I mean, while this is being kind of built as a thriller, it's nothing but a romantic, some type of romantic story here. I mean, the dude literally has a very interesting past present and future if you ask me uh let's let's talk about this a little bit here so he meets this mysterious woman and nonetheless it ends up invoking him coming down with a deadly illness and that's what the synopsis say now let me add some meat to that so he himself has a mysterious past and with his mysterious past, almost in a spur of mental past, shall I say, he meets this woman inside of a, a let's say, let's call it a gentleman's club and whatnot. Um, and this lady, she's basically an escort um, from um, Vietnam, and he falls in love with her. You know, it wasn't about sex. It was about somebody that gave him attention. She has a lot of talent, so I think he was kind of keen to that, you know? Um, but, you know... With that, she has her own set of issues because it's a gentleman's club. She knows what most men want. So, like, beyond this, while they both have reservations about one another, they do start to gain trust. Um, and ultimately, they, they, they start to think about a potential future for one another. But with Jack's past, he has all these folks looking for him. And then ultimately, he's, you know, thinking about her. <laughs> and she's thinking about like trying to get back to her daughter which is why she's taking the job that she has eventually uh, essentially and yes it's a lot of just drama going on here but the two of them are in love and that's where we kind of go down in this story of like how do they make this all work and whatnot it's, it's definitely not a easy situation to be in but hey they, they say love triumphs all so <laughs> that's that with them um but it, it, with that being said, it's a very simple plot. But even with, uh, and by the way, April, who is the Vietnamese woman played by Julian, uh, Julian uh, Nguyen, um, she is talented. If, if she performed all of her, you know, her actions within this film, the singing and whatnot, she's absolutely talented. Um, and beyond that, she still was a very good, she, she did a fantastic job because I could not help but to sympathize with her the entire time and, and you know while we see jack kind of falling in love with her i also feel like as a viewer you kind of fall in love with her as well too because you're just like yeah i want i want better for her you know um but with everything that's happening with jack and this is why i could say it definitely was nothing but like a romantic story it was a monologue for him he literally talked the entire time it was a visual book with narration the entire time and i'm just like and with all this futuristic tech idea 
we really didn't get much, you know? And, and when you did get glimpses of certain things happening, they never really, they never blew me away. <laughs> but then after that, what even happens is talking, 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 talking. So that's why I was kind of bored. I'm like, can we get something besides this guy, Jack, who's almost like a stray dog, who's just trying to find love, trying to find shelter. And then, you know, her, she's just trying to get back to her daughter and whatnot. Like, it just was just weird, you know? I, I don't know. Uh, but I also feel like this story is something I've seen before. Like, I don't know what movie it was, but like when I watched it, I was like, I'm pretty sure I've seen this before. Like, it felt very reminiscent of something I had already seen. Um, but the only other interesting thing about this is that Jack, as I said, with his like experimental past, and obviously he's a person of interest as he has like corporations coming after him. Like, you have people literally pulling up to him on the street trying to take him out and whatnot. You know, while he's going through all these things, you start to kind of tether along with him, like the whole idea of reality and imagination and like suppressed memories and like this whole like illusion of love. Like he is an emotional wreck and things start to get very blurry for him and the viewers because you just start to not know what's actually true for the events that are happening. So, but like I said, it, with it being romantic and whatnot, it's kind of poetic, like, how this kind of resolves was kind of poetic you know i was like you know what i i i, I get it but here's a law and and and, and 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 not only just the law <laughs> but truly if you take anything from this review take this advice do not go looking for love in the wrong places <laughs> and that's all i would say because it doesn't work for anybody and well jack may just be the next victim of that <laughs> But overall, I don't think it was a bad film. Um, I think if you was impressed by the trailer, don't have your expectations set that high because the trailer is impressive, but like the deliverance of the film is kind of underwhelming on that note, but it wasn't bad. And I think that Ryan did a fantastic job in his acting. Like you really, really feel bad for this guy. I feel bad for him right now. And I watched it earlier, you know, but you know, you really do go down this journey with the character Jack, um, April, and you know, there's some, some other interesting aspects to this but like ultimately if they're creating a world here a sequel wouldn't be a bad idea i wouldn't wouldn't mind to see where this goes especially in this you know this distant futuristic you know setting that they had because there's always the possibility of how much further do you want to go with some of these tech ideas and you know i did mention that a deadly illness but like that's addressed <laughs> you'll see what that's all about and whatnot so there's that um, but yes, jump in the comments, folks. If you're checking out this film, let me know your thoughts about it when you do. And as always, stay tuned for more reviews very soon.